Hello everybody, it's going to be a quick video just highlighting some of the winds that we have here in Newfoundland. Uh, we're an island province in the North Atlantic, so we get some serious winds. And before we jump into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to Terry Duffany, aka Pops. So Terry Duffany up in Benoit's Cove, I hear you like to watch my videos buddy, thank you so much. Much appreciated. And now we'll just jump right into the video. Okay, so I had a few people uh, ask about the weather conditions here in Newfoundland and comment saying, looks like we don't get a lot of wind here. But the truth of the matter is, we get a ton of wind here. I should add that my wife is not with me today, so I get to wear what I want to town. And uh, this is my favorite shirt. I love this shirt, but it's all raggy and rotten all around the collar. I had this shirt now for whew, 15 years or more, and, and I love it. It's my favorite shirt. I kind of wear it like a light jacket when uh, when it's mild out like this. So, yeah, I get to wear it when she's not around. She never lets me wear it when she's with me. <laughs> oh, well, this is the way it goes. I'll show you what I got done here. Right here, I have a mark on on the uh, on the stick at one foot. Two marks here at two foot. Right there. Three at three foot. And four at four foot. And it's 15 degrees here today, but we still got lots of snow back here. And uh, let's just go see what we got in the backyard. Okay. So come out to the center of the backyard. And let me see where the marks are. Uh, I got over two feet of snow in the backyard. I don't know if you can see that or not. My thumb is at the snow level. So we got about inch and a half over so about 25 and a half inches of snow in the backyard still so i'm not sure if you can see that that's the three foot mark and this is behind the shed so i still got almost three feet of snow behind i'll put my thumb right where so and my thumb was right here and it was just below the three foot mark. Still got lots of snow in Newfoundland, but I want to go out behind the house now and, and check and survey for for wind damage on our last uh, windstorm that we had. The house looks good. There's no shingles or anything missing. Everything looks like it's in good working order. It's starting to uh, get so warm now. It's it's eating out around by the trees. And I've missed tapping the maple trees this year. Uh, a little upset about that, but my wife had ordered me uh, taps. And they didn't come in in time. And I, this is something that I haven't done since I was a kid. And I never did boil down the... Uh, oh, I wanted to check and make sure there's no new blowdowns. Make sure no new tops came in. We had, we ha I'll show you the uh, chart on the winds that we had in the last windstorm. So after every windstorm, normally you can come in here and you can see where a tree has been pushed right clean over. And that's what I was uh, wondering if I was gonna see again today. But anyways, yeah, we used to tap, uh, birch or maple when uh, when I was young but I never did do the boil down process the only thing that we did was the tapping and collecting of the syrup so I got to learn a whole new uh, side of that I don't know what we got here for snow you see here there is our one foot mark there it is right there over one foot and just shy of two foot so there's your two foot mark 
we're about uh, two inches below. So we got about 22 inches of snow there. So that's what I really want to come see. Uh, I, this is, uh, you know, we call these things widow makers and we call them widow makers for a reason because uh, at any point in time, you could be walking under it naked, let go. And that is directly over the trail. So I got, I got to address that on my, on my own. I think uh, it, it's it knocked the top off of this tree. If there's any way I can save that tree, I will, but I'm gonna have to come in here and, and cut down this tree and cut it in sections until I can get it to fall. And then uh, throw a pull poke up there with a rope tied onto it and see if I can catch on to that widow maker there and get it safely to the ground. And once I can do that, then I feel a whole lot more comfortable because this is a, a trail that I, uh, that the ladies will come and uh, snowshoe on. I'm going to show you some, uh, some of the winds. People wonder sometimes what kind of winds we get out here. Uh, we're the easternmost province in Canada. Uh, I, Newfoundland and Labrador uh, is one province. Labrador is further north and attached to uh, the mainland where Newfoundland is an island in the North Atlantic. And the winds that we get here are absolutely insane. In this chart I'm going to show you, you'll see that the winds have gotten up to 187 kilometers an hour in the last windstorm, which equals out to be 116 miles an hour and that's a cat 3 hurricane that's a major hurricane so i'm just off the trail again and as you can see that's the three foot mark so we're probably a good two and a half inches below three feet so we're at about 33 and a half inches of snow still right here And uh, this is the 1st of April. <laughs> Some wind, holy. Hold it. Try to hold it still. Yeah. Pretty, pretty gusty at times. Okay. Howling. One pick note. I've been doing a few live streams lately. This is not the way the channel is going to be going, uh, but I'm entering a season now where my seasonal allergies really start to kick in. You know, for the last eight months, those of you who've been following me know what's going on. So I've only been staying very, very close to the home, but things are gonna start getting back to normal real soon. And I'm gonna be able to go out on some more good adventures and take you guys out probably spring trout fishing Atlantic salmon fishing, berry picking, side-by-side -side adventures and boil-ups, doing a bunch of scouting around, trail maintenance back up here on, on the Grani again, and maybe a little bit of canvas tent camping. Hope you enjoy the video. Next video, I promise, will be the Lynx video. I'm not happy with the audio in that video, that's why I've been so slow in putting it out. Every time I go to edit it, it's just like, ah. Oh. But that being said, this week coming, I should have, I think it's called the Media Mod coming from my camera. And as soon as they are available in Canada, 
I will be getting the Rode Wireless Go 2. That will give me two uh, mics that I can clip on. I guess called two transmitters, one receiver that I'll go on to camera. So I can have me and somebody else mic and we'll be able to talk in a normal voice. And it should make for a lot better audio and a lot better video quality. And you might see another GoPro either Hero 9 or the Hero 10 in the very near future whenever they come out and become available. I think the Hero 9 10 is going to be a game changer.